Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. As you may know, Microsoft is planning to release Windows 11 version 23H2. The plan is to be released on September or October to every one of us. But because I'm a member of Windows Insider program, I have already this version installed on my PC. And as you can see, it's version 23H2, build version 22.631.2129. I have done another video and the link about that you can find in the description below where it's explained how you can join Windows Insider program in case that you want to receive those Microsoft updates before that they are released to everyone. But in this video I'll show you what exactly are those features or these new settings that Microsoft is changing with this 23H2 version. Windows Explorer is affected a lot from this change and from this update. One of the main changes is about the home and the gallery. Before it was not this gallery here, but over here you can see now the pictures that you have and you can organize the pictures that you have over here however you want. So this option here gallery was not before, but now with 23H2 version is involved on your Windows 11 PC. You can add phone photos by clicking over here and many other options or collections that you can show over here. Another thing that is changed is regarding this button here, which is details. By selecting one folder and you click over details, you will see some of the file's details. For example, I wanna see some details about this file, I select it, and then automatically you will see some more details over here on the right, and you can share it directly from here this file that you have selected. You can do that for any kind of file as long as you have selected this details option here. So we select details and then we select any file that we want and we'll have more information regarding this file without the need to click with the right of the mouse and going over properties where we normally see more information regarding a file. But we can see some brief details regarding this file. The next thing that is changed is regarding the new tabs. Over here, as you may know from previous versions of Windows 11, we can open new tabs, but by just dragging this one, we'll open a new explorer as you can see. So we we'll just drag it outside. So let's try it again. So we open a new tab and let's say we click over documents. Well, it doesn't work really well because I am still on Windows Insider program. And this is, for example, that is having some issues right now. Probably it's occupying more that is needed from my processor or something like that. But it's showing some issues, this version. And that's why, not always, you have to join the Windows Insider program if you don't like these kind of issues. But if you subscribe to our channel, you can get a overview of these new changes when we test those in my PC. So these were some of the changes that will affect Windows Explorer. The other big change is regarding native archiving. So before we needed WinRAR in order to archive a folder or in order to extract a folder. But now with this latest release of Windows, we don't need any more WinRAR for that. Microsoft is offering now a native archiving options. So for example, if I want to archive this folder here, which is named Windows, we click with the right of the mouse, and then automatically you will see this option here, compressed to zip file. Normally you cannot do it from there without WinRAR, but now Microsoft is offering a native archiving option. Now, as you can see, this is recognized automatically from Microsoft, and if I just double click on it, you will be able to open the files that you have inside of it without the need to unarchive that. But if you want to unarchive, you can do that also by clicking with the right of the mouse over the file and then we choose extract all and then you will be able to extract this file. So this is very nice because we don't need any more third party tools in order to archive files or folders in our PC. The next change is related with the network settings. In order to open the settings of your network, you just have to open first settings here. We search settings and the app of settings will open. And then from the options on the left, we need to click over network and internet. And then we select Wi-Fi because in my case, I'm connected with Wi-Fi. What is the change now? 
we can manage the known networks by clicking over here manage known networks and for example if i click over this ssid or this wireless you can see here that you can view your password or your wi-fi security key in case that you have forgotten the password for this wi-fi you just select on this view and then automatically you will be able to see the wireless password before it was more complicated with windows 10 but now with this simple options you just go over wi-fi manage no networks where you can see here all the wi-fi's or all the wireless networks that you have been connected and you can get information regarding that by clicking over it and then you click over view wi-fi network security or you can see other informations which are related with the ip address etc etc so this was the next setting or the next changes that will be involved with windows 11 23 h2 another change is related with the volume in order to open the, your volume settings you click over here and then as you can see here it's included this changes we click over here and then you will have more options which are related with a volume mixer so you can adjust the settings here etc etc you click over these settings here and you can play around with a volume mixer however you like but this was not before now you have it over here at your taskbar by just clicking over your volume icon microsoft is changing a lot with this new release for example the other change which will be never combine icons on the taskbar will be involved also on this one but actually in my release is not yet still but for some of other releases this is what's pretended that never combine icons on the taskbar will be released with this version of windows 11. the biggest change that microsoft is bringing with this release is related with the power of artificial intelligence which will be involved on this version of windows 11 by using windows copilot making windows 11 the first pc platform to announce centralized artificial intelligence assistant to help people easily take action and get things done so on your pc here at the taskbar on the right you will be able to see this copilot let's have a brief overview of how it will look this one so here you can ask question so it's pretty much something similar with the chat gpt but obviously it will be more simple as the beginning you can ask commands for example make your computer in a dark theme etc etc regarding copilot we'll talk in another video in a more detail because it's a new thing and, and we need to test how exactly we're going to benefit from this new feature that's all that i wanted to share with you guys today i hope that you like this video and I'll leave your comments below what do you think about this version of windows 11 i believe that microsoft is working hard to make windows 11 really nice so people can start moving from windows 10 to windows 11 because based on the statistics there are a lot of people that are still on windows 10 but i believe that with these improvements and these changes microsoft is getting there where people will start to like windows 11 Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.